Welcome back. If you're ever late leaving a game, you'll sometimes see a few players out on the ground doing some serious training. They'll be the emergencies who not only didn't play AFL, but also missed out on the sample. However, they find there's no escape from the pain. The downside of being an AFL footballer, when cleaners, ground staff and a few gloating rival supporters are your only company. The non-playing emergency is probably the most hated, uh, hated role for the players. And Ruckman Riley O'Brien knows the feeling more than most. Saturday night at 8.30, there's probably other things we'd rather be doing, but nah, training's good, so it um, prepares us as best we can. He's an emergency nearly every week as backup for Sam Jacobs. Joining him after the showdown were Lockie Murphy, Patrick Wilson and Darcy Fogarty. A little bit weird, the boys, there's a few Port fans at the game giving us a bit, so um, that was always good, but uh, no, nah, it was alright. It was. The lights went out halfway through, which made it a bit hard. And thanks for joining us for another cracker here at Adelaide Oval. Emergencies prepare during the week as if they're going to play. We go to all the meetings during the week and the captains are on the day before the game. Um, and then also go to the game, as always, two hours early. And then, I guess, wait to see if anything happens. And when it doesn't, post-game training can be a lonely experience. Depending on who it is and, and when it is, uh, We'll involve some football, we'll involve some running, effectively trying to, to mimic some elements of the game, um, but obviously not quite the 13 or 14 or 15 Ks that they'll do in a game. But without the glare or the glamour, it's just a grind. It's a bit tough. Obviously we want to be playing, so it makes it a little bit hard, but uh, the training's good, it's good. We need, we need to do that. 